The upgrade time computer man, one of the cosmics in Skibby Tower Defense. But how good really is he? Let's find out. But before the video starts, I also want to let you guys know that there is a giveaway going on. So when I hit 1k subs, I'm going to give away a cosmic, one of these cosmics here. And all you have to do is like, subscribe, and it's going to be different than the other ones. So you don't have to comment your username, but make sure you're liking the video and subscribing. And also hit that bell so you get notified when I upload because right when I hit 1k subs, the next video that goes out, if you see it early, then you have a higher chance of winning the giveaway and winning the cosmic. So yeah. Also, the person that won the Upgrade Titan Sigma Man giveaway with Sniper did not respond to me in time, so I'm gonna open up that giveaway again. All you have to do is pretty much whoever comments their name first on this video will get them. Also, make sure you're like and subscribe, otherwise you won't be able to get them. But yeah, onto the video. So this Cosmic Comparison is gonna be a bit different because my other ones, I compared them all with Assassin. This one, I have Speed 3, so it's not gonna be Assassin, but I'm gonna avoid that for my rating of this unit. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so now we're in the Toilet Town map. I'm gonna turn auto skip on, 1.5 speed, and insane mode. And yeah, you know how this goes. It's gonna be pretty boring until I get my scientists maxed out, so I'm probably just gonna fast forward that part. thousand years later okay right, so now the scientists are all maxed out yep so now i'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy and this guy i'm gonna place down the computer guy right about place him right here so the starting dps is 3600 then his cooldown is 0.83 he costs 5k to place and also he has speed 3 so keep that in mind so i'm upgrading him once 10k now he has 9k dps Damage is 5,000, cooldown is 0.56, range is 40. We're always doing pretty good. His next upgrade is 25,000, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in a second here. Okay, now it's 18k DPS, 7,500 damage, and 0.42 cooldown. And just like the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and put on the top right of the screen uh, like how much it costs to place him and upgrade him to max in the total. So you can see that for yourself. I'll put it actually probably at the end now, right now, once he's fully maxed out. Yeah, so far we've taken care of everything. And I think as you upgrade him, more red drones appear, which is quite cool. We'll use his ability at the end once it gets a bit difficult. But let's just first just max him out. I mean, nothing's even giving him a problem yet, so. I'm gonna put the spotlight guy right here just so that they get slowed down so he can kill them more. Yeah, I'll get that better. And I also brought a regular one, so I'm gonna place the regular one like right here. Now this is not the up this is the uh, normal version. This is the upgrade one. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy has a limit of four. This guy you can only place one. The upgrade tiny one, the cosmic one, you can only place one of them. This guy you can place four. I'm pretty sure. And size comparison, he the the godly one does look bigger, but his DPS is nowhere near as the upgrade version, the cosmic version. So yeah, he looks to be doing pretty good right now. So I'll just fast forward till I get enough for his next upgrade. Alright, so I now have enough for his next upgrade, which is 50k. Now he does pretty much 54,000 DPS. Damage is 15,000. His cooldown is 0.28. Then his range is 50. And this is his next and last upgrade, which is 70k. So, yeah, same as last time. He's not even letting anything get through. So I'm just gonna fast forward to have enough for him. So yeah, I'm about to have enough for. I'm pretty sure this is his last upgrade. So if it is. Alright, yeah, that was the last upgrade, which is 70k. I'll put on the top right of the screen how much it costs to place him down, max him out in the total. So, yeah, now he's just a beast. His cooldown is extremely low, 0.17, 25,000 damage, 60 range. His DPS is 150k, and he only has speed 3. Compared to the other ones that had Assassin, Assassin is better. So, I would think with Assassin, he'd have around, like, 180,000 damage. DPS, I mean, so, yeah. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and max out one tank computer, man. I'm gonna compare them. But yeah, so far, nothing's getting through. I mean, only thing that stand a chance are the saw blades. Um, yeah. We'll activate the ability soon as well. This should be enough for me to get this guy maxed. Almost. Alrighty. See, so this one has 50 range, 0.5 cooldown, 21k damage, and 42,000 DPS. He also has an ability. His limit's 4, though, but this guy can only place 1. And yeah, when I first placed him, he didn't have this many red drones around him. Now he has way more. So this is pretty easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and place a Bemi, too. The traitor. Oh, thank God he did not delete my cosmic. He deleted the evil spotlight guy. That would have been bad. Overall, I think he's really good. I mean, he's also a higher DPS one compared to the other ones. Like, I think he has the second highest DPS for a cosmic. Well, just in the game. Overall, although this might be a bit bad, I'm seeing some. I'm gonna go ahead and use his ability right now. What happened? Oh, he put a laser on everyone's head. Besides this guy. Oh, wow, yeah, he puts a laser on everyone's head. I think it, it definitely does damage. Even the scientist got the laser. Okay, it's what a max. That's, how long does the ability last for? What was the cooldown? I think the cooldown is 40. I'll double check right now. It's, it's back. But yeah, cooldown, if it's 40 and the drones are still there, you can pretty much have them on forever. Let's we'll see when they go away. Okay, yeah, you can pretty much have it forever. 60 second cooldown. So let's see when they go away now. And do some beans just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and delete some spotlight guys too. Let's get some more DPS in here. Yeah, the drones are still there. And it's cooldown at 20 now. Yeah, they, they last for a while. I don't know when they get out. Now they just went away, but I can activate it right back. Right there. I don't know. Are the Bambi's getting the drones? No, they're not. Actually, no, some are. Are they? I can't tell. But I know the scientists are getting them. Probably gonna go ahead and delete some scientists just to get some more DPS in here. Go ahead, use the ability once more. So you get a spotlight guy, uh, drone. Maybe it's only for certain rarities. There's no, like, reading on it, but... Yeah, maybe it's only for certain rarities. Go ahead and delete him. Get some more DPS in here. But yeah, this is extremely easy with this guy. We got the upgraded one, which is the cosmic one, and then the regular one too. The regular one sends him back like that, which is quite useful to be honest. Oh wow, they came back and just died, I think. I don't know what happened there. And yeah, there's no escape right now from the Bemis. Oh, there. There comes some. Let's activate some beans, because why not? It's raining beans. So overall, I would rank this Cosmic probably the second best right under the Galactic Triton because I think his DPS is the second highest DPS in the game, right under the Galactic Triton. So, yeah, overall, I liked him. 
Unlike the other ones where I had a few complaints, I really don't have any with him. I mean, he has 60 range, 0.2 cooldown, or speed, then 25k damage, and 125k DPS. And his ability is pretty good. And if we had Sniper on him, he'd had super range, probably full map coverage right there. So, yeah. Honestly, he's a pretty good Cosmic. But that's about it. Peace.